Um, I excuse my husky voice. Uh, it's not due to excessive amounts of red wine last night. Um, I, uh, my, my, I went on holiday with my children last week and uh, they managed to give me some horrible bug. But I've re I'm recovering but haven't got much voice left. And the good news about that is that I won't be able to entertain you with any singing this evening. So, um, I have a few uh, thanks to make. Um, uh, f first of all, to the organising committee, um, uh, and in particular the ASGBI, who've kindly uh, um, helped me so much by helped so much by um, arranging this meeting to be back to back with their meeting, which has saved a lot of. Uh, um, worries in terms of the finance and organisation. And also I'd like to thank the staff from both the Royal College of Surgeons of England um, and the uh, Association of Surgeons of Great Britain and Ireland uh, for their help uh, in, in, uh, in organising this, which has taken the best part of a year, really, to organise. The, uh, the, although the meeting's been hosted by the Association of Surgeons of Great Britain and Ireland, they're, we're back to back with them. Um, it's also um, in collaboration with the Royal College of Surgeons of England, the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh, uh, the, um, the, uh, and the two training associations in the UK, uh, the Association of Surgeons in Training and uh, the British Orthopaedic uh, Trainees Association. So thanks to all of them. Um, now, there's some important topics in surgical training. Um, all of these are going to be covered during the course of the next uh, two days. Um, uh, I think, in particular, the last one is obviously is a is a is a amalgam of all the others. Uh, it's very difficult to always very difficult to predict the future. Um, I'm looking forward to John Collins' talk tomorrow, the Halstead lecture, which is going to is going to tell us what the future will be like. <laughs> um, all these things, of course, vex us into, uh, a lot, but of course. If we look at where the ICASET meetings have been held in the, in the, in the past, of course the first one was John Collins down in Austra Australia. Uh, then uh, Oscar Trainer kindly hosted it in Dublin. Uh, Ken Harris has hosted it in Ottawa. And now we're back in, uh, now we're in the UK. Um, and the question is, in two years' time, where we, should, where we should be. And you can see there's an awful lot of the world there that isn't really covered by those dots. Um, UK and Ireland seem to have been almost dis obliterated. Um, and of course, we worry about hours of training and various things, but most of the rest of the world, Africa, India, South America, and a large amount of Asia, you know, worry about the fact that they have less surgeons in the whole of their country than we do in one hospital uh, in, our, in our developed countries. So you know, one of the questions for the future, I think, really, is going to be what sort of training should we be providing for these other countries rather than getting too worked up about um, the niceties of training in our developed countries. So I'll just leave you that with a thought. Now, 